Hey guys, welcome back to the kitchen. So today we're going to continue with part two of a lemon tart. This is where we're going to take that awesome short cross sweet pastry we made the other day and actually turn it into something. So like I said, we can do a nice classic French lemon tart. So the ingredients for the actual tart itself are, I've got 350 milliliters of double cream. I've got seven whole eggs. And what I've done is I've taken four lemons, I've juiced all four of them and zested two of them. And then on top of that, you'll need 250 grams of caster sugar. But what I've done now is I've taken that sweet short cross pastry we made, I've rolled it out to about a centimeter thick, and I've lined it into a tart, tart case. Then I put a cartouche, which is basically a French word, fancy French word for greaseproof paper that you lie in. And then I've got some ceramic beans just in there. So that's going to go into an oven at about 180 degrees for about 10 minutes just to part bake. Then we'll get that out, let that cool before we add our filling. So what we're going to do now is get our tart into the oven just to part bake. And while that's in the oven, we are going to get the filling made. Right guys, our tart case is in the oven, part baking. So what we're going to do is make the filling. So I've got my seven eggs, I've just broken them up. So what we're going to do is basically add the sugar, add all the cream, And then we add our zest and our juice of the lemon. And then we just combine it all together. And that is basically our lemon tart filling. So what I'm going to do is just combine this for about a couple of minutes, make sure everything's incorporated. Then I'm going to cling film this and whack it into, put it into the fridge just to chill while we're waiting on our tart case to part bake. Right guys, our tart case has been blind baked. So I've taken it out, so what we're going to do is, I've got my mixers transferred it into a jug. I'm gonna slowly just fill it up. You might have a bit of mix left over. Yep. So what we're gonna do now is that I've got my new blowtorch here. It's going to blow torch the top of it. That gets rid of all the gets rid of all those little air bubbles that are on top. So when it comes out, it'll be nice and smooth. So what we're going to do now is put this back into the oven that I've turned down to 100 degrees because this is now going to go into the oven for about an hour, at very low and slow at 100 degrees. So I'm going to put this in the oven for an hour at 100 degrees. Right, guys, it's been an hour. I've taken the lemon tart out. It is set. I eat out, so basically if you shake it and it doesn't wobble like that, it's set. So what we're going to do now is just leave it. I don't want to touch it or try to take it out of the tin until it's cold. So when it's cold, give it another hour or so. We'll take it out, dust the whole thing with ice and sugar and use our blowtorch to glaze it. And then we'll serve that with some fresh raspberries and a bit of fresh cream. So guys, our tart has cooled down, so I've taken it out of the tin. So now what we're going to do is do the glaze on top. So I've just got to save a bit of ice and sugar. So we're going to quite heavily dust the tart with ice and sugar. There we go. And then I'm going to get a blowtorch. Then we're going to glaze the top of our tart. So I'm going to go like this. Just take your time with this. So, so we're going to look, in, look in for it to nice caramelize. So I'm going to glaze the rest of this and then we're going to serve this so up. Guys, that is our classic lemon tart done. So I've just like I said, dust it at the top of ice and sugar, and then use my blowtorch just to make it a nice crisp golden brown top. But you can use your grill in the oven if you haven't got one of those chefs blowtorch. And there you go, guys. We've taken that short cross pastry, the sweet one we made the other day, and we've made a nice classic lemon tart. So, guys, that is the end of the little mini two-parter series for this classic lemon tart dessert. This is an awesome. Tart is a classic, like I said. 
parties, impress your friends, by all means, this is awesome. You do not have to use lemons, you can replace the lemons and use limes, or you can use a bit of both, like a lemon and a lime. You can even use an orange, and any kind of citrus will work in this recipe. Just replace the lemons, so, like I said, I used four lemons, four, four juiced lemons, and then two zested. The limes will use exactly the same, two zests of limes, and four juiced of limes, same with the orange, but with the orange, you put a bit, you probably depending on the size, if it's like a big orange, you use one zest and about three juice. So but for me to serve this, I would make like a nice vanilla lemon cream and serve some nice raspberries on the side, because the raspberries are gonna give it a bit of tartness because of all that sugar that was in it, it will cancel it out to the lemon's tartness so you get that pure sweet lemon flavor. So the raspberries of this there for a bit of tartness. So the next video I'm gonna do is some more bacon, because up to now I've done not a lot of bacon on this channel, so I'm going to do some maple pecan cinnamon buns. So that will probably be in the coming few days. So please remember to subscribe to my channel if you haven't, if you're new, welcome. Um, all my links will be in the description for my Twitter, my Instagram and my Twitch page where I live stream cooking and gaming. Live streaming will probably be tomorrow with a nice cottage pie. So. If that's the case, guys, I'll catch you all later, and thank you very much, and I'll see everyone on the next one.